had already two quite successful designs with the Sonic Race and the VMG1. So we had a, a big toolbox with knowledge what you need on the race course for the Olympics uh, 2024. We came up with a design which was a really bold move. But in the end, the fleet really saw the benefits of the VMG2. That's basically the kite of choice for now. Every size of the VMG3 is designed on its own and optimized to the conditions you were using it. So for the big sizes, we went to very light construction. We really thought about the reinforcement of the kite, so we only have the really needed reinforcements. So the 9 meter VMG3, we really built very durable. So we basically use all the fabrics we already use for our free ride kites, where we have a lot of years of experience. The 11 meter uses also a very light outside shell, so light fabrics on the outside, but still uses the same fabric as the 9 on the inside construction to still have it very durable. The 15 is basically a mix between the 19 and the 11. So we use the outside shell, really light, and the inside shell we use the heavy duty fabric on the loaded ribs and the lightweight fabric on the unloaded parts. And the 19 meter and the 21 meter, they are built in a really light way to give you the maximum performance in those low wind conditions. The 9 meter and also the 11 meter has a three level design, so it has an A, B, C level and a break. The 15, 19, and 21 meter, they have only A and B levels and are optimized for minimum drag and maximum performance. We skipped all the sizes which were not used on the VMG2, so basically we ended up with the sizing 9, 11, 15, 19, and 21. Meeting the requirements for World Sailing to register a product is involving a lot of quality control points. So we have to set up and use a certain standard to meet the requirements. And for sure we not only use those standards for the VMG3, but also use it for our rest of the range free ride products that the overall quality of the flies of product is increasing. The success story from the VMG2 basically gave us a big pool of riders who were training and used to the VMG2 and we had a lot of feedback on points we could improve for the VMG3 and those were also the points we tried to work on. Everyone wanted to have even more power and even more wind range and um, also the light wind performance especially on the 21 and 19 was a big point we were working on. So making the kite very light and also make the kite even easier to use and make it effortless to get the performance out of the kite. So the VMG3 has a really, really big wind range and is effortless to go upwind. So you don't need to put that much work into it and goes downwind very, very well because of the lightweight construction. We tried to simplify the inside construction of the VMG to be able to have less room for error in the factory and also increase the long time performance of the product. So we reached this by shortening the glass fiber stick and adding one rigid foil on the top sail. So basically the two bows are separated from each other and this will make the kite fly better for a longer time. So to increase the performance of the VMG3 and also the maximum power delivery, we tried to make the leading edge as smooth as possible to get the least amount of wrinkles. And therefore, we used the so-called CCB cut, which is a cut going along the cord on the leading edge and basically gives you the option of adding material where you need to add material in the most efficient way to get the smoothest leading edge. Another improvement on the VMG3 is an air intake line to improve the top end stability. So for example on the reach you really go fast on the low angle of attack and that's where the air intake tends to deform and the air intake line prevents this. For the sizes 15, 19 and 21, we decided to offer two different bridle sets. Uh, we'll have a training bridle, which will be full Kevlar bridle, 
which gives you the advantage of being not that trim intense, so you can use it longer um, before you need to retrim the kite, which is great for training. And then we will have a performance bridle, which is a mix between Danima and Kefla. This bridle gives you the maximum performance out of the kite, but is a tiny bit more trim intense. So we would recommend to keep this performance bridle on the kites for competitions and at the Kefla bridle or the training bridle to the kites where you put a lot of hours on for training. In the scope of delivery, on the sizes 15, 19 and 21, the performance bridle is attached. And if you want to put hours on those kites, we highly recommend to get the training bridle set, which is not as trim intense. Our sizes were developed on 12 meter lines, but you can play with the line length a bit to get better low end. You use a little bit longer lines, or to be quicker in maneuvers, you go on a little bit shorter lines. We found out during testing that 11 meter lines are working a little bit better because the overall length of the VMG3 bridle increased a bit because of higher aspect ratio. So you can compensate this with a little bit shorter lines. So we recommend 11 meter lines or 12 meter lines for all sizes. To keep the performance of your VMG3 as long as possible, we recommend to pack the kite and store the kite with the concertina method. To find out more about other tips and tricks, go and check out our other tutorial videos about the VMP3.